Hello, this is Raina with Lila Crafts coming on today as part of the hashtag embellish with us Wednesdays. And that is an open collaboration that is hosted by Marianne's Craft Corner and Gigi's Cool Creations. And I will put a link to both of those ladies um, channel in the description below. And today I am coming on with 21 different embellishments to share. And I am um, so excited. I utilize this paper pad that I have had in my stash for forever that I uh, purchased from uh, Michael's, I believe. And so um, I use that for everything that I created. And the other things that I used were these items that I recently um, got from Bead Park. Now, I got these very sweet little rabbit heads. I purchased these clay, um, or I selected these clay stars, these uh, polymer clay bits. Aren't those so cute? And then I also um, have um, utilized these sweet little carrots, as well as these awesome little bunny heads. And I am going to put a link to all of these um, in the description below, so you can have them along with the discount code to use on their prices are so reasonable. I also got these uh, little bunny charms and also these little bunny charms. And so I'm going to show you all kinds of ways that you can use um, these items by utilizing the things that you already have in your stash. So uh, the first thing I made were these shaker bones. So I love these and I put inside those polymer clay bits as well as I wrapped it with gold twine and I put two jump rings to go ahead and attach that sweet little bunny. And then when you cut this out, it gives you a sheet of paper and then also the foam cuts out. So what I did was I just mounted that, um, I glued down that sheet of paper onto the foam and I made another bow embellishment. And so this one has this sweet little bunny on it. And what I did this time was I actually glued those polymer clay bits right onto the bow. And I love how that turned out. And look at this purple one. Isn't that so sweet? So, um, so I did that for all, all six of these. I love the pink. Um, so this paper had a lot of variegated uh, paper in it, that paper pad. So it really went well with these colors in these, in these stars. And before I go on to show you the rest of the 21 embellishments that I made, I just wanted to stop and say that if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really love it if you subscribe and become part of my Lilo Crafts YouTube family. And also, if you like this content, thumbs ups are so appreciated because they really help my channel. Okay, let's check out the rest. Then I went to town on bows. So next I made this kind of a paper bow and I put a rosette and then I put tulle on it um, with um, some iridescence on it. And then I used that sweet little bunny head. So that goes with the pink. Um, I did um, the same type of thing for this paper, more lavenderish. And this time I used the bunny head and the carrot. I just love those, love those. And then um, for this one, I put the rosette behind it. Do you see that? So I've got this uh, rainbow with this, and I put double carrots because I thought it would really bring out the orange in the paper above it and below it. And so then this one I um, also put, but I, um, with the rosette behind, but I have a bunny and then I also have the sweet carrot on that. So I'm loving that. Then I moved on to um, some flowers. So um, with just one of the punches I have in my stash, I punched it out four different times. I layered that all up. I just pinched the corners and then you just fluff the edges just a little bit like that. And then I love that bunny head from Bead Park. I am absolutely in love with that. Okay. And then I also did it with this pink and lavender variegated with that sweet bunny head. But this time all I did was put one of my rosettes, excuse me, one of the scallop punches right behind it. So it actually has a base. So you can see 
the difference of just the flower or the flower with the scalloped punch um, behind it. Um, and then I did um, this other pink one also with the scallop punch behind it. So this one's a little more like the white one and like the pink one. And then here's another one. And this one doesn't have the punch behind it. It is just that sweet, sweet flower. So I'm loving that. Then um, I uh, did one with the lavender, but with the rosette behind it with that sweet little bunny. <laughs> I love the bunny. And then um, I did these, uh, I did a tag here. Um, and so I used some iridescent uh, ribbon in my stash. And this time I used that rosette, but I put a little tool on it and I took the bead dangle and all I did was just clip off the little, um, the little, I don't know what you call those, the little uh, hole that you can attach it with. And then I just put that sweet little enamel bunny on there. I think that's so neat. I love the way that that turned out. I did another tag and this time I'm going to put like a message on here. But what I did was I utilized these um, little bunny and rabbits on the bottom um, and I put a double bow on the top. And so that I think makes such a sweet tag or would even make um, a sweet thing to mount onto an AC. ATC card and maybe write a message to um, to the person that you're sending it to. So I love the way that that turned out. And then I went one step further and I decided to make a banner like this. So I took one of my uh, straws from my stash. I topped it with uh, two little pom-poms on the end and I used that same paper pad. And then I, have a, I made a scalloped rosette, a little bit of tulle on the top, and then that sweet little bunny head. I just love that so much, so, so much. And then you know that I've been loving making these flowers and so I couldn't resist. So I made one flower um, with, the, uh, with the white side showing up, a two-tone with a little bit of tulle and also that sweet bunny head. And then I also um, made one which was all paper showing um, and I put that sweet bunny and the carrot inside. Now you get so many of these pieces. I think there's like 50 in here. So you don't have to worry about being sparing with your items because they're so reasonable and you get so many pieces. Look, I made all of these and this is all what I still have left over. I mean, I have so much left over. Um, uh, for making all these. And this is a 50 gram bag um, that I was able to get from Bead Park. So that is it. These are my sweet little um, Embellish With Us Wednesday project shares and my Bead Park pro project shares. I really appreciate you um, checking out what I made and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.